friends, today we're going on a fun adventure to explore the amazing world of plants. Did you know that some plants are like colorful performers with pretty flowers, while others are a bit mysterious and don't have flowers at all? We'll learn about these two kinds of plants, flowering and non-flowering, and discover how they grow and make new plants. So get ready to explore and have some fun with our leafy friends! Lolita loved to explore. Her backyard was her favorite jungle full of buzzing bees and whispering leaves. Today, she had a big question dancing in her mind. How do plants grow and why do some have pretty flowers while others don't? As she pondered, a deep, gentle voice went, Perhaps I can help you, little explorer. Lolita gasped. Before her, stood the oldest, wisest looking tree she had ever seen. I am Professor Ruth, the tree said with a leafy chuckle, and I know all about plants. Some plants are like grand performers, Professor Ruth began. They put on a spectacular show with beautiful flowers. We call them flowering plants. Think of the juicy mangoes you love or the fragrant roses in a garden. Their life begins as a tiny seed tucked safely in the soil. With sunshine and water, it sprouts into a young plant growing taller and stronger each day. Soon, that young plant becomes an adult tree ready to show off its magnificent flowers. These flowers are like little factories making pollen and nectar to attract buzzing bees and fluttering butterflies. After the flowers do their important job, they transform into fruits. Inside these fruits, new seeds are waiting, ready to start the whole amazing journey all over again. It's a never-ending cycle of life. But not all flowers need to make more of themselves. Professor Root continued. His branches swaying gently. Some plants are a bit more mysterious. We call them non-flowering plants. Take ferns, for example, he said, gesturing to a lush green fern. They reproduce using tiny spores, which are like invisible dust. Or moss, that soft carpet on rocks, spreading without any blooms. And then there are mighty conifers like pine trees. Professor Root added, they have cones instead of flowers, where their seeds are kept safely waiting for the right moment to grow. <clears throat> Lolita's eyes sparkled. Wow, Professor Root, plants are even more amazing than I thought. From tiny seeds to giant trees, with or without flowers, each, each single one has its own special way of living and growing. Thank you so much for joining me on this plant adventure. I hope you like this story about flowering and non-flowering plants. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can explore more fun stories together. See you next time!